Hello, it's Jeremiah Small from Salon Consulting. This video is about testing and troubleshooting your Carafe bundles. One excellent way to take advantage of Carafe is to host your solutions so that you can log into it from other client platforms and see how things work in near real time as you save and edit and configure on your primary development environment. If, like me, you normally do development day-to-day -day on a Macintosh, but you support Windows clients, the traditional methods for troubleshooting JavaScript integrations could be pretty frustrating. Our FileMaker server that I'm going to look at is FileMaker 18, and we've enabled uh, mandatory passwords. So I've already fixed the two Carafe files to have a admin password, and I'm just going to go ahead and add an admin password into our example solution. Now I can go into FileMaker, sharing, upload to host. Made a folder for this. Browse, upload all three files together onto the same server. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell it to open assets and graph. We gave it a password. Let's find our Hello World bundle just because it is nice and simple. We'll go ahead and pick version two. So we'll go ahead and use local editing. We'll make a new folder on the desktop. Right now there are some advanced editing features which won't come into play in this video, but I'm gonna avoid spaces in my path because there is a known bug in the command line tools where paths with spaces in them don't work right. Uh, we will get that resolved, but for the short term, that is a known issue. So we'll go ahead and open, and now we're linked to the local, and we'll go ahead and get VS Code open. Code, file, open. Troubleshooting demo, open. Okay, so troubleshooting demo, source, config, all this should be familiar from prior videos. If any of this doesn't look familiar, go look for some of the earlier videos in the feature tour playlist. So here we're just going to make a small edit, go back over to FileMaker and reload. So we should see enormous turn into tiny. Okay, so far nothing's new, but let's just say that I also care that this is working in my Windows environment. So I'll open Windows, get FileMaker 18 hosts, and let's open Carafe. As you can see, it is the same bundle because we're both clients of the same hosted environment. So what I'll try to contrive here is that we can see the Windows machine at the same time as we can see our local linked instance in the Mac. So the Mac is linked to my local file system. Windows is just logged in. You may have previously wondered what this watch icon is for. What this does is it opens up an event listener which is just a window so that whenever anything updates this bundle, which we are now watching, this will automatically refresh. Back over to Visual Studio. Let's make our window smaller. We'll go ahead and make a change. Kind of come up with a new word here. Let's say mini world. Hit save. We'll go ahead and reload. And you can see the watcher updates as well. The reload behavior will signal anybody that's watching to go ahead and reload the change. I am verifying that it works. If there was anything to do, such as click testing or, or inter user interaction, I could verify that. And then ultimately, I can come here and say, yep, I have verified that this version of the Hello World is Windows compatible. But until you verify that it works on Windows, you can't be sure about that and not everything necessarily will. So that's why Windows compatibility is a special case. By the way, the watcher will work on an iPad too. You know, you can watch it from any FileMaker client. 
to unwatch, you can click this button or you can click the button on the layout and it will um, release the watch. If I make changes over here, we'll just go back to Hello World, kind of a little less creative. Uh, reload Hello World. Now, of course, you can come over here and manually refresh that, and that is a perfectly fine use case for checking your Windows compatibility. The watcher just makes some of those things more convenient. Usually what we like to do is stick your Windows client on a, on a secondary monitor or something, and then if anything breaks, a lot of times it's very obvious. By just having it automatically refresh whenever you make a change, it's a big time saver. All right, so that's watching from within FileMaker. In part two of testing and troubleshooting, we'll enable the debug console on Mac and Windows.